Hey, Couture Base, it's your girl, Britt Brack, going live with the Brie Talk. And child, we're talking about Mr. Byron Scott, a.k.a. Mr. Lake Show, a.k.a. Head Coach, and him addressing his daughter-in-law, Kristen Scott, for all the lies she's been telling. Child, it's a mess. So let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. I would first like to shout out our pay for sponsors, Amazon. By shopping using my link below, you can shop until you drop, baby. So let's get into the mess. Hey guys, this is Byron Scott. Uh, I want to uh, say this to all the basketball wise fans out there who watch uh, the show on a weekly basis. A couple of weeks ago, it was an episode with Kristen and Thomas. Uh, we're getting ready for dinner. And supposedly, I was invited to go to dinner at their house. Never happened. I was never invited to go to their house for dinner. Uh, Thomas and I had talked about uh, having dinner together, but it was never at their house. We had scheduled a time to go. I had a baseball game, which I did go to, uh, and we made arrangements to have dinner at another time. So for them to go on and portray that I was supposed to come over, and I skipped it, and went to the baseball game instead of coming over to try to handle a family situation or family matter is ridiculous. I was never invited in the first place. And then for Kristen to come on and say, and I skipped it and went to the baseball game instead of coming over to try to handle a family situation or family matter is ridiculous. I was never invited in the first place. And then for Kristen to come on and say that I put the baseball games, so to speak, in front of the family. It shows my, my priorities is crazy as hell. And her always talking about she wants to fix this. She didn't get close to that. She's made it worse. She's made it worse. Because again, she's come on TV and basically said, I skipped a meeting that we had already arranged, which had never been arranged in the first place. So I just want all you guys out there to know the real deal on what's happening on Basketball Wives. Uh, and again, for uh, the family member who said they want to fix everything to go back on and again, try to kick me in the face. I ain't having it. But it's all good. Just from that clip alone gives me the impression that Byron Scott is not easily manipulated. He is a solid stand up guy. He's very much aware of who Kristen is, which I believe she's a snake and a liar and a manipulator. I also believe the issue with Thomas and his daughter, cause she was on the show too, talking about how Cece is this person destroying their family. I believe stems from the fact that Byron has cut them off financially. I mean, he's like post that allude that and here's what Kristen had to say for him to make this clip and I want to fix it so uh, Thomas and I invited Byron over and we did not invite Cece you are being dismissive to someone he loves and that's disrespectful no I'm, I'm not I'm not, so I'm not just, dismissing her I just don't understand in this instance why she would need to be there I just want to have a conversation with my father-in-law. I just want you and Cece to just work it out. I know you do. Man. We're gonna start small. I say what I say. Everybody loves blaming Cece for this failed family unit when in actuality it stems from money they were cut off financially and now they're bitter about it because guess what they have to foot their own bill because when byron was footing the bill no one had an issue with cc she was invited to all the parties she was invited to everything i mean they loved her i mean they used to go on double dates vacations but the moment byron said hey you need to pay your way all of a sudden cc is a gold digger cc is manipulating him when actuality cc has a booming med spa business but let's get into this next clip do you think that cc's innocent in all this or you think no. it's a both okay no i don't think nobody's innocent in all this i know she probably had a hand in this as well okay. and it wouldn't went as far as kristen would have said something that she said i'm yeah. mad because you guys don't come see my kid you live down the street and y'all don't take your ass over to my house 
She didn't mean that you were a bad grandfather. She just was trying to say, I want him to be more involved. Why did she say that? And, and then when I make numerous calls to her to try to see my granddaughter, when I call and text my son to try to see my granddaughter, and it's always, well, she's asleep. You know, we'll call you when she wakes up. Oh, we forgot. If I keep running into this wall, sooner or later, I'm going to get smart enough and I'm going to stop. They have never once called me and said, can we bring her over? Not once. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to keep putting out the effort if you're not going to help me. In my humble opinion, Kristen will be the downfall of her own marriage with Thomas. You know, a lot of people believe Thomas has issues with Byron because he left his mother after so many years and then moved on. I do not believe that to be the case because Cece has been around since Kristen has been pregnant and everything like that. I mean, Cece and Kristen were really good friends. Cece used to loan Kristen her clothes and vice versa. So how is this woman who you're calling a clout chaser, which I have the clip, I'll be playing it soon, and a gold digger and destroying the family, how are you, how can you say that when you were just borrowing each other's clothes and going to each other's parties and events? I told y'all before and I'll say it again, it's because Byron cut them off financially and the truth will be coming out. I mean, Kristen's husband is one of the coaches for the big three. She's not really in the primetime NBA basketball wives elitist club, if you know what I mean. In her life. Do you think you're ready to sit down with my dad and Cece yet? I don't feel like Cece should be there. I feel like her and I are not in a good place. I don't know if we'll ever get to a good place. I would love it if it's me, you, your dad. I feel like my dad is surrounded by people that have a lot of different interests. Mm -hmm. I don't know his best interests or whatever. Some people is, is not out for love, you know, they out for clout. No comment. We just got to be the bigger people because we just got to do it. Got to set the example, so. You're so good. That's why then you're the yin to my yang. Woo child, what people will do for fame? Honey, this isn't a good look for Kristen nor Thomas. They make themselves look like complete fools, which fits my theory that Byron has cut them off financially and they feel some type of way. So they're going for who they believe is the easiest target, which is his soon to be wife, Cece, because they want to push this narrative that she's some type of mistress, gold digging hoe, but mama has her own business and practices. Look at this next clip. Don't they look happy? So right it's here. official. Yeah. when he get on he'll leave you or a white girl this is not the case guys honestly i believe that's probably what stemmed the divorce between him and anita in the first place because he was taking care of everybody and he really wanted to retire with some money in his pocket he was tired of being the bank the bank of everybody else but himself he seems to be living his best life him and cc seem extremely happy she has her own career it's not our fault anita didn't level up when her husband was leveling up as for Kristen and her lying face child karma comes like no other i stand with byron anyways what are your thoughts what are your opinions sound off below i gotta go Bye, hoes. I'm Byron Scott with the 
jump shot like the idea of being on top. In the top to reach up every man. If drugs aren't in this master plan, I'm Kurt Bennett. They call me Superman and I'm 